Hey guys! This video is all about the responsibilities that come with owning guinea pigs. My first point is money. The first thing you have to ask yourself is if you have the money to take care of a guinea pig. Guinea pig needs lots of veggies in their diet and, especially in winter, this can get expensive. Be prepared for lots of costly trips to the supermarket. As vegetables are so essential to their diet, your fridge might be mainly stocked with guinea pig food. Guinea pigs also eat a massive amount of hay, which can get expensive as well. Depending on the country you live in, vet visits range from very expensive to crazy expensive. If you already own a pet, you know what I'm talking about. Piggies might be small, but they can cost a lot of money. Are you willing to spend several hundred euro, pound or dollars a year? Time. While guinea pigs might not be as much work as a dog is, they still require more attention than many people give them credit for. If you work full time and only have time in the morning and evening, your guinea pigs will adjust to your schedule. You can feed them, talk to them and pet them before you leave for work and spot clean their cage, feed them, change their water and talk to them when you come home. However, they should be living in a herd, which means at least three guinea pigs and should have a very big cage with lots of places to hide and run around in if you're at work all day. Cleaning the cage can take up a lot of time, so even if you're tired after a long day at work, you still have to provide a clean cage for the piggies. You also need to clip their nails regularly and watch them carefully to make sure that they are healthy, as guinea pigs are excellent at hiding their illnesses. Guinea pigs can also live up to 10 years, so you're taking on responsibility every day for the next decade. If you go on holiday, you have to make sure someone else takes proper care of them. So they are a huge responsibility and you have to ask yourself if it's worth it. Personally, I think they definitely are. Space Guinea pigs love to run around and explore. They also don't like to sleep too close to other guinea pigs, except for when they are scared or babies. So there should be enough houses or places to hide for all of them and therefore also enough space. A guinea pig cage or enclosure takes up more space than most people think, so you need to be willing to sacrifice some of your own living space for them. More guinea pigs need more space, but as guinea pigs are herd animals, you can't put one guinea pig in a tiny store-bought cage. Imagine you would never be able to talk to a human again. That's how a single guinea pig feels. They don't speak the same language as other rodents or humans, so you need enough space for the group of guinea pigs, roughly between a half to one square meter per guinea pig. Generally, one can say, more space is always better. Allergies Some people might be allergic to guinea pigs or the hay. Before you think about getting one, you should see a doctor and ask if you and your family, if you have one, can be tested for allergies. The test only takes a few minutes and you get the results instantly. These were my main points. Guinea pigs are amazing little creatures and have a great character, so if you're willing to spend time and money, they are definitely great pets. Just watching them can be highly entertaining and they do the cutest things.